easing off of those controls. Can you do that? We got a real good co-pilot up here. Landing gear down. I got it. I'm looking for the emergency procedures. No doubt we're going to need it. Well, thank you so much for this time together. Um, the movie was really good and very suspenseful. <laughs> uh, and so I thought that was... You know, I was on the edge of my seat. Um, talk about your kind of involvement. Did you know about the story? You know, I had heard the story in the news uh, a few years ago. Did you know about the story as well? I hadn't. Um, yeah, that the, the story really wasn't on my radar. Um, but the script attracted me to the project. I thought it was just a really well-executed script. And the uh, character that I would possibly be playing, I thought his character arc was just really well fleshed out you know i found the man to be very interesting uh given that he had lost his father and his stepfather to plane crashes and uh that this opportunity to help save the white family was a cathartic experience for him i i found that um a, a good a good a good thing to sink my teeth into as an actor you know that i could take the character from one place and he sort of ends in a completely different place yeah, your character really did have the, I think I feel like he had the biggest um, kind of transformation. And, and um, he was very closed off at the beginning. Um, but kind of talk a little bit more about what it was that he really, you know, that pushed him to towards kind of changing. Well, I think he was just uh, in the right place at the right time with the right knowledge of the aircraft that Doug White ultimately had to, to land in order to save himself and his family. Uh, he was reluctant to get involved uh, in the situation initially because he felt like the odds of them being able to pull this off were like less than 5%. I mean, he was actually quoted as saying that. So uh, I don't think he really could have dared to lose another person under his watch. Um, so luckily uh, he didn't. Uh, and it ended up being, uh, you know, like a, a, a healing journey for him. And, uh, you know, he was able to sort of exercise the demons of his past through helping save the white family so i mean yeah it was a it's a it's a very moving storyline and 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 you're right it was uh i feel like one of the best storylines in, in the script so i I'm, I'm very uh you know proud to be a part of this project lucky that you know roma downey and Alden billy ford saw saw fit to give you the role and uh you know i'm i'm, I'm very excited by uh how behind the film prime video is um and i i think this movie's gonna have mass appeal i really do I think that, yeah, it has a, a bunch of different elements that are, you know, appealing to it, to it. One is, you know, it's a family and your your kind of heart goes out to that. And then another is that the excitement of what actually is going on. <laughs> and um, another is the faith. Can you talk a little bit about the, you know, the faith elements that are throughout the movie? Yeah, sure. I mean, I definitely would not consider this movie a faith-based uh, movie. Yeah. I have been a part of... Uh, a pretty big faith-based movie in the past, um, and th they tend to be a bit more heavy-handed um, with, uh, you know, what they're trying to accomplish and, the, you know, the messages that they're, uh, you know, uh, communicating with the film. Um, you know, I, I, I find this film, I mean, it's a true story, you know, and the people involved in this true story were people of faith, um, and it is a miraculous story. Um, so it's just kind of baked in. Um, I, I I really uh, love and appreciate how well executed the movie was by our our director Sean McNamara and also by our producers and just you know I mean I I, I never actually acted opposite Dennis Quaid or Heather Graham. I never even met either of them until until recently. So uh, yeah, I was just very pleasantly surprised at the chemistry on screen when I ultimately did screen the movie. Um, and that, I, I think, is a testament to, to our director and our producers. Oh, yeah. You guys did a great job in terms of that then, because because that's really interesting that you were in your own space. Uh, yeah, that's super interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's that's like one of the toughest things we have to do as actors is sort of just acting right. in the vacuum and red, red, acting opposite like the second AD, you know, off camera, yeah. reading, you know, the lines back to you and uh very um monotone sort of flat manner you know because they're not they're not actors they do their best but uh you really have to manufacture a lot of that emotion and intensity uh all on your own you know and uh, that that can be challenging 
and your you know kind of shows your relationship and that, that it's kind of dwindling um so <laughs> could you talk about that kind of you know what what he had to you know figure out in terms of yeah you know, well i mean i think i think he had so I, he had survivor's guilt you know he wasn't able to to be there for both his father and his stepfather that he lo- both lost in separate plane crashes and he never fully dealt with that trauma uh, and it was sort of rearing its ugly head in his romantic relationship and i i, I just thought that was that that the character was just very relatable you know because we all have traumas from our past and we and we take that stuff out generally on our significant others you know on generally on the people closest to us um so i just thought it was uh yeah it was just a a very relatable storyline it was a character that i found it easy to get into the emotional state of um i i played opposite a very talented actress uh anna anger rich who was uh incredibly supportive to work with you know I had all this aviation jargon that I had to spit out like the back of my hand and you know she was running scenes with me and lines with me uh you know between between takes and between scenes and she was great uh so yeah I just I, I really had a, a great experience on this project he is never gonna make it I love you girl you can do it sometimes you gotta trust in things you can't see let go, let go. 